Hello everyone. I am going to show you my decluttering of my bathroom vanity and my linen closet um, using the KonMari method. Now I know uh, Marie Kondo says to organize everything by category, not location. However, there are certain categories that are in those particular locations. So that is why I am doing it this way. And I've kind of combined everything together, makeup, skincare, medical supplies, linens, and everything. Hope you enjoy. Here's what I have to start with. Um, looks pretty organized because I do that quite regularly. But uh, let's see if using the KonMari method I can get rid of some more stuff. Oh, I know something for sure. <laughs> something spilled in this soap container there. So, anyway, we'll start with that. Thanks. I'll show you. Um, when I'm done. Okay everyone, so I have finished my decluttering and purging and uh, sorting of all my skincare, makeup, um, toiletry items here. Uh, this pile here is garbage. This little pile here is donate. That's um, like their brand new lipsticks and eyeliners and not even you brand new stuff and some of the uh, well I, I think I did use the nail polish and some of the other uh, spray stuff but um, that's still good for the, someone else <laughs> anyway and over here these few things here I've decided I need to move somewhere else that's going to go down to the shop the any uh, bacterial um, hand stuff uh, a couple things to go in my purse couple things to go in the car first aid kit. Those are going to work and those extra little box uh, I might reuse that somewhere later. Um, so I've got my first aid stuff organized. I was actually surprised. You know, I, over here in this pile there were some expired items there. And I just reorganized the stuff that was in the box too. Um, dental stuff. Uh, some of the stuff I, and all these things I forgot that I had. Um, some things were not in the right bins. <laughs> um, got rid of a lot of foundation stuff that was so old. I don't even want to tell you how old it was. Okay, I'll tell you anyway. It has to be about 20 years old. It's gone. I'm not, I, I, don't, I don't need to use that stuff. <laughs> yeah, gross, eh? <laughs> I got all my makeup stuff in this little, All I brought out all the new stuff and I've got rid of the old. So here we go. That's all brand new. Lip gloss ready to go. I don't, I don't use a lot of makeup so that's, that's fine for me. I got my foot, foot care bin, my hand care bin, um, you know, nail clippers, eyelash curler, a bunch of tweezers, all different kinds of tweezers too. So I thought, well, I'll keep them. They don't take up a lot of space. Eventually I may call some more. Um, I got rid of some of my nail polish that I really hate. So I never, never use anyway, so I'll get rid of it. I only kept two of the um, body, body sprays. And these live on my dresser. I usually, these are the ones I go to once in a while when I actually 
wear perfume. So there you have it. Um, again, I there's my throwaway pot garbage pile and giveaway pile. Not a lot, but then I don't have a lot to start it with with that. So I will organize it, put it all away, and then I'll show you the final result. Morning, everybody. I'm just going to quickly go through all my hair stuff here. Uh, I don't know that there's much I can get rid of. Um, they were living in these two drawers here. The bottom drawer I'm not going to go through. It just has extra razors and Q-tips. Uh, and the top drawer we've already done. Um, and this cupboard here, keep extra toilet paper and feminine stuff. So I'm not going to show you that either. Okay, so... Here's hair stuff. Hi everyone. So this is all I'm keeping of my hair accessories. Um, wide black band, another little headband, two of the turquoise ones, um, one little um, you know, hair, hair elastic, a few hair elastics there, a couple of little clips here, one big one. Um, I need to get more brown ones and then I may probably get rid of that but that's the size I like um, I'm getting throwing these out the elastics no good I might buy some more of the black is pretty pretty handy but we'll see this is what I'm giving away this hairbrush I hardly used um, like maybe twice I always use the other ones all these hair bands I don't use and these little clippy things, they're way, way too big, the um, the grips on them. So I'm getting rid of those. Now, back here. Uh, so I've got my, the hairbrushes I'm keeping um, in the drawer there. And in this drawer, I've got my one hair dryer and my flat iron. I already got rid of my curling iron in my last purge. So, let's put the see where I got that. I'll put, put this away. Hair, just hair clips and bands. That one's right there. And that's that. In the bottom drawer, it's already done. Razors and Q-tips. Okay. That's that. Bathroom done. Good afternoon, everybody. I am now on to the linen section of KonMari method of decluttering. Uh, this would be one of the kimono um, categories. Uh, so I have uh, towels over there. I have uh, table linens over there. Um, bedding. This is all bedding stuff. And over here I have extra curtains and extra cushions. Um, and on the bed here, I found this uh, other quilt that I forgot that I had, which seems to go perfectly on um, with the new quilt. So anyway, I will get started and uh, give you an update when I finish. Okay, everyone, here is my cake pile. Not too bad. Um, these curtains here I was actually planning on putting up this summer, so I'm going to wash them first because I noticed a couple of them have some stains on them. And then I'll put them up. I didn't think I'd be able to get rid of too much, really, because I do go through stuff regularly. However, oh my gosh, look at all that. That is my giveaway pile here. Um, some things were a real challenge too. Um, these satin, quilted satin pillows were my grandmother's. A friend of hers um, actually quilted those for her. And this purple um, curtain was hers. It She didn't have like a door, an actual door, so she had those curtains hanging there. So that was hard, and I still really like a lot of this stuff, like that quilt set, the comforter set that was on my bed not that long ago. I still like it, but you know what? I have a new one. Am I ever going to want to go back to that? 
Probably not. Do I need it for, for guests? I have other ones I'm keeping for guests, so I probably don't really need that. Um, I'm even a couple of beach towels I was able to get rid of and, and face cloths and other cushions and curtains and a couple of airy rugs and over here, brand new set of red sheets, 600 thread count and a nice set of tan grommet, uh, curtains. But those two I am going to be giving to my boyfriend. So, um, I'll still see them. I just not, you know, won't be stored in my cupboard which is a good thing because we don't need all that extra stuff not being used in my cupboard. But here we are. Here is the giveaway pile. Pretty proud of myself for that. Okay, well, I guess I better put everything away now. Okay, everyone, here I am. I have finished purging and reorganizing. I have got rid of a lot of expired medication here. Those are all expired things. Those and those are for recycling. And I'm going to get rid of my blood pressure cuff and this unopened finger splint box. So that's that there. Now over here, um, I put my makeup back in there and uh, the few uh, lipsticks that I've kept and my makeup brushes. Um, now, in my medication that I've kept here, there's a few things that are technically expired too, but I think they're not so expired that I can't use them, and I hate just throwing stuff out. Of course, if I don't use them in the next short while, I'll be throwing out a few more things. Um, as you can see, this is December 2015, so those are about a year old for the uh, ibuprofen, but uh, they seem to still work. I've been using them. Uh, recently they still seem to do the trick so I'm not throwing them out they're almost empty anyway but um, I will continue using them up and then I'll buy some more okay so that's it for the bathroom um, medication stuff um, and I will show you my linen closet the completed linen closet I did uh, linens and bedding the other day, and I also did uh, the skincare and toiletries the other day, uh, like yesterday I think it was, before I started on the medication stuff, and then the final um, shelf there. And of all my extra linens and stuff, I only kept the one bag. I've got some cleaning stuff that I use up here in the bathroom. What I, I think I might add a basket to put uh, things in, keep them better contained there. But I've got lots of extra space here. I've kept the two toiletry bags, big ones, and I've got two smaller ones inside that. Um, yeah, everything else I'm using here. I did bring this, I had put this out, the uh, jewelry cleaner container out. I dumped the stuff that was in it before because it had gone bad and I might still if might still replace that but I put some alcohol in it so I can clean a few things with alcohol still in there until I can buy some replacement jewelry cleaner. Oh and over here is where I kept the first aid kit. So I've got first aid stuff, medical stuff all close by. Um table linens, pillowcases, um, the extra top sheet for the uh, the guest bed or my pull-up couch, <laughs> or aka my pull-up couch. Um, yeah, so that's it for now.